I tested kale and chocolate three times each on six different days. I used two different chocolates, a 95% dark chocolate, a stone ground chocolate from the brand Teza, which is my go-to, no affiliation, and a 73% dark chocolate. I did not try to carb match them. I actually ate the amounts a normal person might. So for kale, I cooked down about four cups of raw leaves, which amounts to about eight grams of net carbs. Not much at all in terms of net carbs. And for the chocolate, I ate the bars because real people don't eat just one square. And if you do eat just one square, please feel your forehead for me. You might find there's a unicorn horn there. <laughs> anyway, the 95% bar was 2.5 ounces and the 73% bar was 2.1 ounces with net carbs of 12 and 27 grams respectively. So if there was bias, and there was by design, it was in favor of chocolate spiking my blood sugar more, not kale, due to the higher carbs and the higher glycemic index of the chocolate. But that is not what happened. To the contrary, the kale reliably spiked my blood sugar, and the chocolate never spiked it more than 21. Isn't that interesting? 